Hi, buddies, Jose Warren Ninjas. We build systems and circuits of integrity. We're also Dream Media's preferred partner in New Jersey. Today, we're in Mountainside at home base where we're gonna show you how to reset this and this. A Logitech Harmony remote and hub. So, the point is maybe your Harmony worked for a while and maybe you changed your internet or something happened uh, you change the router, maybe the Harmony had an issue, uh, maybe it went crazy like some do, or maybe you screwed up the programming and you need to reset it and reprogram the remote. I think this is important to show you guys how to reset this thing. So let's get into it. All right, buddies. So keep in mind, what we're going to do is an actual factory reset. It's going to clear this thing out and restore it as if it were brand new in the box. So there's two processes. One for the remote and one for the hub itself. So let's go over these. For the remote, we're gonna press and hold the menu button located above the channel up button. You see the channel up button right here on the right? The menu button is above, right there. So we're gonna press and hold the menu button and the off button together for 20 seconds. The remote should turn off and then turn on again, displaying the image of a remote in a circular arrow. After a few seconds, your remote will be restored to factory defaults and you may sync again to the hub. If you have a Harmony-based hub product, then you should follow the steps to reset the Harmony hub as well. We're gonna cover that too. So for the hub, we're gonna unplug the hub and then hold the pair reset button on the back. The pair reset button is the button labeled pair reset on the back of this thing. Take a, take a gander there, pair reset right there. So we're gonna hold this reset button while plugging it back in and it's the light on the front of the hub will flicker red for about 30 seconds as the hub restores itself to factory defaults. So I guess we'll start with the hub. So remember, what we're gonna do is we're gonna press this pair reset button, right, meow. We're gonna press that while we plug in the hub and I'm gonna plug it to power. And now we should get some feedback on the, see the light? Now the light's pulsing, that means, you know, it's gonna pulse red for approximately 30 seconds as the hub restores itself to factory defaults. So that's quick, easy, and simple. That's done, we're gonna wait that for that to reset. We should get a change or feedback on the light. Let's do the remote next. We're gonna press and hold the menu button as well as the off button together for 20 seconds. So remember, menu's above channel right here and then off is up at the top. Let's hold these two down. Ooh, we got feedback. The remote's doing something. It should take about 20 seconds. I count, you know, seconds. And it's doing stuff, right? The remote screen will turn off and turn on again, displaying the image of a remote in a circular arrow. So once this image happens, once you see the screen turn off, turn back on with this new image, I believe you can let off the buttons and let it do its thing. After a few seconds, the remote will be restored to factory uh, defaults and you may sync again. So look at that. Place your remote in the cradle which means the remote's restored to factory settings. Let me just pop her in the cradle. So now, the only thing you see is, once you put in the cradle, it says set up remote using Harmony app. So this remote is factory set, good to go. The hub, blinking, see now it's blinking slower, which means it's ready to be paired. So that's how you reset the hub, that's how you reset the remote, now you're ready to program the thing or reprogram the thing. I hope you found this informational or useful. Some of you guys will probably be searching for how to reset Harmony, and I hope this video really comes in handy. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.